We're going to get this thing over with quickly using the simple process of cut it off and kill it, and then we're going to get home as fast as we can. Thank you very much. That was General Colin Powell, the war hero, concise, calm, lethal clarity. If you're going to go into a conflict, overwhelm them, send in as many people as you possibly can. That was his doctrine. And if that was all he was, Colin Powell lived a remarkable life, but he was more, and America was better for it. Colin Powell made history in so many ways. He was the first black chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. He was the first black national security advisor, and he was the first black secretary of state. Getting to those positions was harder because he was a black man. And I think everyone should appreciate that. Tonight, leaders from around the world and here at home remembering Powell, who died due to complications from COVID-19, despite being fully vaccinated. Colin Powell dedicated his extraordinary life to public service because he never stopped believing in America. He was the epitome of what it means to be strong, but at the same time, so modest in terms of everything that he did and said in a way that it was never about him, it was about the country. Well, he's not only a dear friend and a patriot, one of our great military leaders and a man of overwhelming decency. A spokesperson revealing Powell had been battling a rare blood cancer called multiple myeloma, as well as Parkinson's disease. Doctors say the blood cancer can weaken the immune system, making him more vulnerable. He had been scheduled for the booster shot right when he came down with COVID. Colin Luther Powell was born in 1937. His parents, Jamaican immigrants, the Bronx, New York, his home. Modest means nor the despair of discrimination would stop him. Instead, they fueled him. Powell's passion for the military started at City College, where he was a member of the ROTC. After graduating, he would serve two combat tours in Vietnam. I think the Army really, truly did shape Colin Powell. He liked being in uniform. He liked the way he looked. He liked the power and the authority that it gave him. He learned leadership there. He learned teamwork there. He learned so much there that got him through the rest of his life in the way that he got through it. Powell would soon break through barriers, becoming a four-star general, serving under four presidents, Republican and Democrat. In 1991, overseeing the successful first Gulf War, when the U.S. ousted Iraqi President Saddam Hussein from Kuwait. His most controversial moment coming more than 10 years later, in 2003, as Secretary of State, during a speech to the U.N., Powell made the case for war, telling the world of Iraq's weapons of mass destruction. The gravity of this moment is matched by the gravity of the threat that Iraq's weapons of mass destruction posed to the world. Those weapons did not exist. The intelligence was flawed. Powell was delivering the message of the Bush administration, but he would take responsibility as the messenger. Telling ABC News' Barbara Walters he felt terrible about the claims made in that speech. Do you think this blot on your record will stay with you for the rest of your life? Well, it's a, it's, it's a, of course it will. It's a blot. I'm the one who presented it on behalf of the United Nations, uh, United States, to the world, and it will always be uh, uh, part of my, uh, my record. How painful is that? It, it was painful. Uh, it's painful now. He was also respected on both sides of the aisle. A registered Republican, his focus on people rather than party, led him to endorse then-Senator Barack Obama just two weeks before the 2008 election. I think he is a transformational figure. He is a new generation coming into the world, onto the world stage, onto the American stage. And for that reason, I'll be voting for Senator Barack Obama. President Obama releasing a statement writing, General Powell helped a generation of young people set their sights higher. He never denied the role that race played in his own life and in our society more broadly. But he also refused to accept that race would limit his dreams and through his steady and principled leadership helped pave the way for so many who would follow. Former President George W. Bush calling Powell a great public servant. Tonight, flags are flying half-staff paying tribute to Powell's life and legacy. Decorated warrior, distinguished diplomat, a good and decent man, husband, father, grandfather. Colin Powell didn't just break barriers, he built bridges. And not only did this child of immigrants live the American dream, he embodied it. I like to talk about what he would think his lasting legacy is. He talked about that in his memoir and, and wanting to be a good soldier. 
Whenever you asked Colin Powell after he became Secretary of State whether he'd prefer to be called General or he'd prefer to be called Secretary, he'd always say, call me General because I'm a soldier at heart. And he was indeed a good soldier. Earlier, I spoke to historian Leah Wright Rigur and former senior advisor to General Powell, Anita McBride. Colin Powell was a man of many firsts. What is his true legacy, you think, as a soldier, a military leader, and diplomat? He is, in an essence, this kind of story of American democracy, of the promise of the American dream, even as he cautioned us that we shouldn't be so enthralled with the American dream that we let go of all of our understandings of what surrounds it, right? the reality of things like inequality. But I do think that he represents, essentially at, at the best, uh, when we look at the best of his legacy, he does represent this story of what is possible in America. Ali, if I may, we live in such divisive times. Have we seen the last of leaders like Colin Powell? He's rare in that he was an individual that was willing to critique his party and critique his party loudly in a moment where he felt like his party needed it. And we know that there is a contested history behind Colin Powell's willingness to do that. When we look at the larger trajectory, I think, of Colin Powell's career and his career as a, as a politician or as a political figure um, in these elite circles, particularly Republican circles, he's unique and essentially the last of a kind of breed of, of uh, political figures that was willing to take his party to task and say, we haven't done enough and we need to do so much more. I need to bring you into the conversation. You served as chief of staff for, Laura, for First Lady Laura Bush and worked for Colin Powell at the State Department. Mm -hmm. Take us behind mm -hmm. the scenes. What was the secret to success, you think? As a military man and then as the nation's top diplomat, he cared about the people who were working for him and with him. And people felt an incredible sense of loyalty to him because of that. He worked in a political environment, but he was not really interested in being a politician. But that doesn't mean that as a private citizen later in life, as, as Leah says, he would take on the party that he worked for. And ladies, in our closing moments, a final thought from each of you. Leah, if you could engrave the tombstone of this great American man, what might you say? Oh, gosh, Byron, you're hitting us with the hard questions. <laughs> They're really difficult question. Mm. You know, I think that I would say here lies a complicated leader who gave his life for service. And I think it encapsulates essentially a legacy, um, a legacy that is, is deeply mourned um, by people of all political stripes. And Anita, we'll give you the last word. Yeah. What will you remember most about this man? He loved his country. He served his country. He loved his family. He loved his friends. He was an optimist. He believed in the future of the country and of its people. And he tried his best in all the phases of his life to bring out the best in everyone. And that was a great example of a truly, truly great American. Amen. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.